Hello, this is Randy Allen with Engraving Concepts, Arlington, Texas. Today we're going to discuss reversing the air assist solenoid to prevent air pump damage to diaphragm pumps that do not have a relief valve. As you can see, the engraving machine in raster mode usually doesn't use the air assist function, but when cutting through material, you'll see much dust and fumes and flames come from the laser beam when it hits the material. The coiled tube is designed to use an airflow to push the smoke and debris away from the cutting spot. This is done by a couple of different optional air compressors. When ordering the air assist pump from Epilog Laser, this compressor pump does not have a bleed off valve. It is a diaphragm compressor and will burn up if there's not any air pressure release from the solenoid. This solenoid shows on the right side an air escape unit that is a noise reducer and that's what allows the air to escape out of the side of the solenoid. If the airflow is not directed from the solenoid correctly it could burn up and damage the pump. To reverse the solenoid flow of air you're going to disconnect the quarter inch black tube from the back of the machine. Then you'll also use a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen the two screws to the inside. That will allow you to pull the air assist solenoid away from the unit you're going to disconnect the other quarter inch tubing on the other side, rotating the solenoid 180 degrees, changing the airflow from the front to the back and the back to the front. Reconnect the quarter inch black tubes and then reinstall with the two screws back to the side of the unit. Here is another view of the solenoid detached from the inside of the laser. Notice there are two quick connect ends on the solenoid. The ends flip end over end which reverses the airflow from the front to the back then back to the front. So flip the end over end twisting the unit and that will change the direction of the airflow. Once you have reversed the solenoid simply install the solenoid back to the inside of the machine with the two screws. Reconnect the quarter inch tubing to the outside and this will allow you to use the diaphragm compressor without burning up the pump. I hope this has been helpful.